Hey guys, Jason here at the farm. Uh, just a quick uh, follow-up video to yesterday's video on the ram pump. We did a ram pump install and showed our uh, <clears throat> flow rates, did some calculations on waste valves. Hey, uh, let me get this barn door open. One of the common questions is, on your drive pipe, what size drive pipe should you have? What size drive pipe? And uh, what we found here is that your drive pipe, uh, your drive pipe should match the size of your ram pump. So, you know, we did three quarters ram pump, and so you should have a three quarter inch line uh, coming in. Generally speaking, you know, what, what happens if you uh, have a different size pipe than uh, your ram pump, different size drive pipe? Well, we found out the hard way. Uh, we had a garden hose was a little bit smaller than three quarter and we sucked air. And so you suck a bunch of air in that waste valve. And when you get air in that waste valve, it does all kinds of funky stuff. It won't run right. And so, uh, and then if you go bigger, uh, we did not have that experience, but I would imagine you'll probably have trouble with that waste valve opening, um, would be my guess because you've got too much hammer coming down. Now, could you go with a bigger drive pipe and wait? You know, like we were showing that foot valve yesterday, could you wait that waste valve down? And uh, I don't know, maybe somebody needs to try it. But generally speaking, you want that drive pipe size the same size as your uh, ram pump build. Another common question is, well, what about drive pipe length? How long do I want to make that? Well, typically they recommend between 75 and 100 feet is optimal. Now, sometimes uh, you don't have the, the three feet of head that's necessary to get a, a ram to, to run. And so you have to continue extending that drive pipe on back to get that, that drop that you need. Now, if you do that, the problem is you run into friction losses in the, in the pipe, having a, a longer pipe than 100 feet. Uh, but you can do that, just install something called a standpipe. And a standpipe, you're just moving that head pressure closer to your pump. I want to do a little fun test here, and I uh, take you in the barn here and show you what we got. Uh, we are still pumping on this tank. Not sure if you can hear it. You can't really see it there, but uh, still got water coming in. And uh, you can see here, we've been pumping for about 23 hours, not quite a full day of pumping. And we are, gosh, between, there's 225, 225 gallons, there's 250. We're over 900 liters. I think 900 liters in gallons is what, 239, 237, 239. So about the, we're right at about the 240 gallon mark. And remember our calculation, we got the stainless steel valve running. Our calculation was, 245 gallons per day so we're, we're just about right on that calculation was valid now here's what i want to do i got to thinking you know i just i wonder how high this thing would pump we've got these elevated tanks here and i just wonder if we could get this thing up even higher now you'll recall we're falling we're pumping water way up a hill and uh, from the creek is way down. And uh, we quantified that with a measurement on the pressure gauge and it was 20, over 20 feet, almost 21 feet uphill that we were pumping. And so that's pretty incredible, but uh, I'm, I'm really curious, can we go even higher here? They say on these ram pumps, you can get seven or one, one to seven. So for every one foot of fall, one foot of head pressure, you should be able to pump up seven feet, seven feet high. Now, the other factor here is we've got 350 feet of lateral line here that we're pumping through. So you're gonna have some friction losses. I would imagine that one to seven is probably like a straight, a straight up. So, uh, you know, three feet of, of fall, three feet of head pressure, you should be able to pump 21 feet straight up, which uh, pretty incredible obviously you're not pumping all that water but anyhow let's do a test here let's see uh let's see if we can get this thing pumping in those tanks okay guys i took this hose out of that tank down below and i have put this thing up here in this top tank and i this is <laughs> this is blowing my mind <sighs> we got it we got flow up here up top Good grief. 
let's test this out and see what our let's see what our gallons per day is and our uh, feet ahead based off our, our head pressure down at the pump 220 gallons per day uh, pumping into those uh, big tanks up top sorry my mouth's not working here it's cold let's take the pressure gauge down okay so we're down here i got the pressure gauge put on we're gonna valve off the pump side and then we are gonna open this to the line coming in this is the line coming down the hill so i've isolated that line we're just measuring head pressure in here and it looks like right on 14 so 14 psi uh, times 2.31 a 32.3 feet a little over 32 feet 32 feet high uh, that we're pumping up into those elevated tanks all right i'm geeking out on this let's keep going let's see how high Let's see how high we can get this. I mean, 220 gallons a day, that's still, that's still a lot of flow. This thing, I've got a feeling this thing's got a lot, a lot higher it could go. Yeah, maybe the, maybe the top of this barn here, what do you think? Let's see what we can do. That's uh, about all I've got there. Just about the peak of the barn and uh, it's still pumping and I can't talk because it's so cold. But uh, let's let's do go down and get a measurement. Let me let me show you this close up. So you can see I got the hose wrapped around the top and then it's draining out there. You can see definitely still pumping and definitely a good uh, pretty good flow still out of height there. But that again that hose is running clear down here, 350 feet down into the creek bed. Let's go get a psi reading and calculate that foot ahead. Okay, wow, you can really hear this thing hammering now okay so 18 times 2.31 is 41 and a half feet 41 and a half feet of height that we're pumping up just incredible so what's the point of all this why do a couple videos on the ram pump anybody who's into grazing knows that water is life and so some access to water, clean water, different sources. Um, to me, this is one of those, this is one of those things, one of those inventions that you can implement for fairly cheap. The actual pump itself, you know, 50 to 70, 75 bucks. Uh, you know, most of the stuff comes from the hardware, no big deal. So it's pretty easy to implement as long as you have falling water. But think about across this country, all the, all the rivers and streams, even little streams. This is just a little stream we're doing this from. So just another tool in the tool belt here for the grazer to potentially get creative and pull water stored in tanks, elevated tanks. You guys that follow here know I'm a big fan of elevated tanks for grazing. Put a float valve on a container and run your line out to that from your elevated tanks and bam, done. Just keep the tanks full and you have your livestock have water uh, automatically in a rotational grazing system. Anyhow, uh, questions, comments, nasty remarks, leave them. Wish me luck here on how to get this thing down. I uh, hope you're doing well. Have a, have a great weekend. Talk to you next week uh, when it's a little warmer.